All right, so I've had some questions about like grinds and, and pucks and watery pucks and all this kind of stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of do a little experiment here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I, I usually run with certain uh, grind settings. So I've been kind of leaving it about here a little bit more towards the coarse end of the spectrum, as you can see, um, but kind of medium to coarse. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go kind of through the limits. I'm gonna do a grind at one and a grind at 12. So kind of from most fine to most coarse and just take a look at the puck in the hopper afterwards and just see what it looks like. Cause I don't know. Um, my theory is that the more coarse the grind, the more volume will end up in the, um, will end up in the little compressed puck and that will re result in like a more compressed and like hard puck and that the more fine um, there will be less volume and it'll be more like soupy kind of watery it'll mix with a finer grind but there won't be as much to compress tightly and that'll just be kind of like pushing soup through so we'll see i have no idea it's an experiment so i've got it uh let's go ahead and go it is okay to turn this to the course to kind of go to the course direction Let's get this to work here because that's opening up the little teeth. So you push down and turn these. I'm just going to kind of get it to go here. I think I've just about got it. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, it's pretty close. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I think that's the most coarse setting. Now going the other way to fine, it will actually compress the or it'll bring the little burr grinders closer together. And in that case, you wanna do it while it's running. So um, just to make sure you're not just like smashing beans together inside uh, when it's not turning. So um, I'm gonna kinda of like have to do a pre-run to get that in the fine, but let's go ahead and run this course mode here. And what I'm gonna do just for a test is I'm gonna do a single coffee uh, max flavor, which should result in the most, sort of the maximum amount of uh, grounds and max water volume just to see you know running the full amount of water through the most amount of grounds what what kind of puck I end up with and I'll do the exact same settings for the fine so let's go ahead and do that we'll see what we get <sighs> it'll be interesting to just check also I'm gonna use this clear glass and just look at the color consistency. Okay, that that press sounded a little harder than normal. Uh, usually, it kind of it doesn't sound like it has to work as hard. So let's see here. That's pretty. Remember, this is the coffee, not the espresso, with the maximum amount of water. So I should do a full cup, and then we'll kind of let it settle, and I'll give it a little taste too. Oh boy, that's bringing it right up to the top. Ooh, there you go. Okay, so here it is, just kind of like separating. Got a nice little layer of crema on top. does seem maybe not it's kind of hard to tell if it's a little lighter than normal which it might be with a little coarser grind uh, let's see here all right so let's give this a, a little taste here it's pretty tall tall little glass so here just sort of holding it up to the light. It is pretty light, actually. Usually the coffees are a little darker. So we'll go to the fine and we'll check that out too. But I'll do a little taste. Oh yeah, it's very watery, very watery kind of flavor. So, okay. So now let's, let's I'm gonna pause this. I'll be right back. I need to adjust to the finest settings while it's grinding. So I'm gonna kind of do a run to 
I'd like an espresso shot just to get it to spin and then uh, then I'll do another coffee like this um, and see what we have. So I'll be right back. Okay, and then uh, before I get on to that one, I remembered I, I did want to take a look at the puck. So I, I cleaned it out. I just should have one one puck in here. And let's just take a look and see. It's going to be a little bit of water. Okay. So it's pretty dry, really crumbly. Um, it does seem to be wet all the way through, you know, it's damp, but it's not, you know, there's not a lot of liquid in it. It's pretty, pretty grainy. Okay. So we'll do the same thing with the fine, but let's go grind it first. Okay. So we're back. Um, so I went ahead and made the adjustment. I have this pretty much set to the, the number one end. Okay. So it's the finest finest one and so now we'll just do the same exact setting single coffee maximum bean and water volume and we'll take a look and see what that looks like Pretty much the same water volume. I can't, uh, can't tell if this seems much darker or anything. I think uh, the cream's a little bit different on the top. Get this out here. Yeah. Let's hold that up to the window here. Let's see, yeah, it's a little, maybe a little darker. Taste. I would say it's a little richer flavor. I mean, it's not a huge difference. And let's go ahead and check this puck now. Uh, hmm. I forgot to empty the other one, so I think I'll uh, just try to be gentle here. I think. Either one is like soupy, really. Um, it's pretty dry. I, I have a feeling, yeah, this looks like the finer, the finer grind. Yeah, this is a little warmer. So that's the last one I did. That was the finer grind. It doesn't really seem like wet, really, like soupy. I mean, it's drier, I guess. I mean, this is a little wetter than the other grounds that I did, which was on a, it was the one that as I was going through the settings, um, kind of ramping up from coarse to fine was this one. But I'm going to try to run one more. I'm going to do like an espresso shot through it and see what that looks like. So I thought what might be interesting is to do kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. Okay, I'm going to do a single espresso shot, minimum bean, minimum water flow, okay? And that should be about the lowest, uh, lowest amount of bean grounds and water 
I can get. So I'm going to try that. So let's see what we get in here. Oh. Uh, it's like soup. <laughs> I don't even, it doesn't even seem like anything came out of that. That was weird. Okay. So I'm going to rinse this out and try again. I will say as a comparison real quick too with the window, I mean that's definitely, uh, here we go, kind of darker, right? There we go. So you can't see through it the same way we could before with that sunlight. So, I mean it's, it's a stronger, obviously stronger brew. So, okay, so let's do, let's do that again. Okay, so this is with medium bean, medium water. We're just kind of checking this one out. Definitely pours faster. I mean, just kind of like out okay so, I'm gonna move this out of the way and that's still a good dark color so I have a good yeah, that might be better like a nice dark color green pretty good okay so I want to see what these grounds look like I mean, it kind of uh, fell apart. It is. There's a little more of that. I mean, this was completely rinsed, so there's some of that kind of mucky stuff at the bottom here. Definitely a narrower, like it's not as tall, the puck. It's definitely hot. Um, and it's a fine grind. I don't know. That's hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll test one more thing. Okay. So I twisted this all the way back to the coarsest setting again. That's where that goes. All right. And uh, I'm gonna try that same uh, single espresso, medium, medium setting as I did before. Okay. So medium, single espresso, medium, medium. Let's give that a try. And this is on the coarsest grind setting. second when it settles. Let's pull this out. That one's falling apart. It does seem drier, I guess. I don't think it's way more crumbly. There's not really that. There's a little bit of that. 
crumbly dryer. Definitely a coarser, a little bit more coarse here. But it's for sure drier with that, with the same. Uh, let's take a look at this now. That doesn't look too, it's so hard to tell. I mean, it's like light through. tough to tell there but, so so far I will say both ends both ends of the spectrum in terms of the grind size um, didn't really make anything soupy right like there's nothing nothing came out wet really I mean I guess I would say the lowest amount of with the smallest amount I mean we could try one more here where it's the to check the grind here. So if we do a coffee with the lowest amount of beans and the most water, <laughs> right? So I mean that's that's potentially the like worst case scenario here for in terms of like water volume to grounds. So we'll just try that. So two coffee. I'll just do one coffee because all it does is just run the same thing twice. So we'll just do one minimum bean, maximum water. See what that gives us. I'm not cleaning the glass on this one, sorry. But really I'm interested in what happens. And this is at the coarsest setting. So. this might because we saw it a little bit wetter with the fine grind it may be better to try it on the finest grind with maximum water so I'd be interested to see what when people say they have sort of like soupy pucks or wet wet pucks what their settings are and maybe I'll ask that for some of these people that who have asked me But we'll see what happens here. I mean, this is probably worst case scenario for washing a little bit of grinds and a lot of water. Okay, so that's that coffee amount. It's definitely, yeah, I mean, you can see a big difference. Look at the color, almost like see through it. Here, let's go to the, which we would expect, right? I mean, it's just a bunch of water with, yeah, I mean, look at that. Right, totally different tone through it. Yeah, it's almost it reminds me of like iced tea or something. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the grinds now. We'll see what we got in there. I mean, honestly, yeah, they're wetter, but. You know, it's, it's definitely wet, right? I mean, it's like there's moisture in here. And maybe because it was coarse, yeah, maybe this, the coarseness of it is what's absorbing more of the water or making it not so soupy. Maybe if it was finer, it would be wetter. I don't know. It's definitely wetter than this, right? I mean, this is like almost dry now. This is still really really wet so hmm well I don't really have any solid conclusions everybody sorry about that <laughs> this is, uh, I mean I'd like to see what people are setting it to when they think that it's soupy because I've tried both ends you know from course to grind if there's anything else you can think of for me to try I'd be happy to give it a shot so test it out here but that's what I see so far kind of seen it as I do a little bit of experiment hope you have a great day thanks